on the uh, Radio Wemo breakfast. This is Buzz. He's been chained to this tyre for most of his life. Critically underweight, dehydrated and isolated. There are many steps in Buzz's journey to recovery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a mangy old mutt tied to a post about to die, apparently. <laughs> Where's your uh, heart? It's a mangy old mutt. It's Buzz. It's, it's just, poor just old not buzz. a mangy old mutt. It's Buzz. <laughs> Uh, this is a um, oh, ad social media and airplanes with Vaughan Davis. Oh, yes, hello. TGF.co.nz. Welcome mm-hmm. back. Um, that there is an ad that's only playing in movie theatres at the moment. Tell us about it. It's only playing in some movie theatres. It's playing at, if I may quote, selected screenings of The Avengers. I've seen The Avengers twice. I haven't, I haven't been. <laughs> really? In the, I, I've not been in the selected screenings, sadly. But what this, You have kids. I do have kids. Um, what this is, is the latest from Colenso, uh, ad agency in Auckland for um, Pedigree Adoption Drive, which is a charity uh, you know, by, by Pedigree Pet Food mm. that you will remember uh, came out with the Doggleganger uh, facial recognition thing that won all the awards. That's for, right. You know, people are like their dogs, so adopt one that's like you. What this does is very clever. It hands out uh, a pair of 3D glasses or seemingly 3D glasses to you as you go into a movie. These are very special 3D glasses though because instead of showing a left channel and a right channel uh, you know, to your left and right eyes mm. and giving you a stereoscopic picture, it either gives you two lefts or two rights and what you're seeing is one movie or another movie. They're screening two clips at once simultaneously Clever. on screen. Yeah, The audio is the same. The audio is telling the story of Buzz, hey, which is what we're creating here. Oh my god, we're party to it. Yeah, um, Buzz the dog. And the voiceover is describing, you know, he's t- you know he's an abandoned dog, and this is what we're, a tied up dog abused, and this is what could happen if we intervene. If you've got the glasses that you are given, if you make a donation, you see the happy story happening on screen. If you choose not to donate, you still get glasses, but you see the sad story with Buzz still being there. It's about a three and a half minute clip. Uh, would have cost a bomb to make. Um, does not, it work though? Because have you done it with the glasses? I have not done it with the glasses because okay. I've not been to the selected screenings. Right. Uh, I I trust that it does work. Uh, I see no reason, you know, why, why it wouldn't. I wonder if it's like, um, you know, the, the old uh, rulers with the vinyl thingy on top. What do you call it? Oh, the the, have, the little thing with the. T- the <laughs> and you wave uh, it from side to side and it changes. No, I don't think it's quite like that. <laughs> um, you know, will, will it actually save many dogs? Probably not. Uh, I saw in the same press release that this charity has, since it started in 2009, and rem- remembering it's done two really big budget projects we know of, yeah. it's only raised $160,000. Um, they would have spent half that, the, the equivalent of half that, in flying around the world to collect the advertising awards. Yes, exactly. Uh, That's yeah. But it mm. advances the technology, it uh, it raises awareness of the charity, and it's a pretty cool piece of work. You can see it would easily be um, as part of a LTSA campaign next uh, drunk driving yeah campaign. that's right you could yeah. you could see this it, it's you know it's like catwalk fashion right you're not mm. going to wear that stuff but two years later those ideas show up in glassons mm. and this is what's what's happening here so interesting okay yeah anything else in the world of advertising well not so much world of advertising I, I, I did want to talk about the mercury good energy cab but i'm really not quite sure about the good energy cab well, here I am talking about it. Yeah, you about this? you've done it. So, yeah, oh, damn. Thanks for that. Yeah, I Moving have. On. Uh, yeah, we'll, move, we'll talk about it next week. We'll find out a bit more about the Mercury Good Energy Cab and talk about it next week. Go for a ride in it, perhaps. Okay, um, on to uh, something else then. I'll make sure I've stopped those other two videos because they're going on for a long time. Yeah, three and a half minutes. Um, yes, this. Now, the star-bellied Sneetches had bellies with stars. But the plain-bellied Sneetches had none upon Mars. No stars on their bellies. No stars upon Mars. Now those stars weren't so big. They were really quite small. You would think such a thing wouldn't matter at all. But because they had stars, all the star belly sneeches would brag. We're the best kind of sneech on the beaches. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yes, the uh, the star belly sneeches are always um, the ones. It's my go-to want. metaphor. Yeah, it really is. The star belly sneeches you remember was the story about the sneeches who lived on the beaches and were given the opportunity to have stars put on their belly had they not had them, or indeed stars removed if they did have them and didn't want them. And eventually, all the all the sneeches just got mixed up and you couldn't tell which sneech was which, which 
I was thinking about when Facebook introduced <laughs> its highlight feature Segway. Uh, a few days ago. Yeah, highlight. Yeah. So highlight, if you haven't encountered it, Facebook people, and there are 2.2 million of you out there, uh, is a, a, a service whereby if you think your post is really, really interesting and you want your friends to see it, you can click highlight. What this will do is promote your post in your friends' news feeds. Okay, So it will make it more likely that your friends will see the post. The catch is highlight can cost money, uh, and they're, they're doing it in a really interesting way. They're, uh, they're rolling it out free for a bunch of people, mm. but they're rolling it out uh, at cost for a bunch of people as well. I think just it's, it's an experiment to see. You know, to see wow, what I wonder how they decide who's going to be free. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Have you tried it? No, I haven't, I haven't posted anything in you the past few days, anything? actually. You should, you should try it and see yeah. if it's free, see if you're the A-list. Um, but the, the pricing is bizarre. The, the pricing, as I've seen it so far from, from friends of mine who have, who have been charged, is either in pounds or in US dollars, which is just kind of odd. Just kind of odd. Okay, and, and, and about how, what, how many pounds? Uh, one pound 29. Three bucks New Zealand. Was, was one. And I think it was 49 cents US. So the dollar. Yeah, 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 oh, no, not even that. No, 60 no, cents. They're trying all yeah. sorts of different pricing points. Um, I, I can Strange. kind of see the point. It's kind how do you of going, pay? Oh, I guess you just put in a credit card. Credit card. I, I, have, I haven't, uh, I haven't had to pay. But uh, I can why would you want to pay? Point. Well, you you would want to pay. Well, why would you want to pay? I posted something the other day to promote my involvement in the Lifewise Big Sleep Out, which is a charity thing, right? I want people to come come to my page, sponsor me, and help this charity and make it all work. And I'd pay a dollar for that. Mm. I'd, I'd want more people to see that. Why not? Uh, if I were uh, announcing. Hmm. If I were announcing a major, major life event, you know, hey, we're having a baby, would I want to be sure that everyone saw that? Because True. we know, right, that between only only between twelve and sixteen percent of the posts that we put up are seen by our friends because there's so much other noise. So anything that can can promote, I it guess it ma makes sense for individuals, but it makes even more sense for pages, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense for pages, and they're rolling it, this out, this feature out for individuals only. Which is strange. Yeah, yeah there's there's more to it than me. Because the businesses are more likely to pay for it. Absolutely, they're more likely to pay for it. Um, yeah. And and because the value of pages um, isn't so good if it's just racing by in someone's timeline. Right? No, absolutely not. And you know, um, people were obsessed with making this great page and putting out this content, little realizing that you know, no uh, one's looking at it. Eight times out of ten, their content's not actually even appearing in someone's you know in the visible part of someone's timeline. But um, it's interesting. I can see why they've had to price it because if it, was, if it was free for everybody all the time, everyone would do it all the time, I mm. think, and would just become the star bellied snitches, right? If everyone's highlighted, no one's highlighted. Yeah. So really interesting to see how that, that rolls out. And so is Facebook. I mean, they, they launched it. The other part of the story is they launched it in New Zealand, you know, where the, where the test bed, the, uh, I think Mashable reported the first worldwide user to see it was in Whangarei. Yeah, you know? So suddenly Whangarei's on the map. It's essentially the new classified. It's the new... Uh you trade and exchange. Yeah, it is. Your dollar at a time. It slightly goes against the Facebook ethos. If you log out and log into Facebook, folks, you'll see a screen that says it's free and always will be. Mm. Uh, I don't quite know what the it is because if, if uh, you know, if having your post seen is not free, you don't know, don't know what that leaves. But beginning, interesting. Beginning the end for Facebook. Well, no, I think that's that's premature. <laughs> okay. uh, I mean, General Motors has certainly pulled out of uh, Facebook advertising, they've just announced, but, uh, you know, that's just a channel choice, and people mm. do that all the time. Yeah. Mm. Um, to keep it staying in social media, um, undies burning, this week. Burning pitchforks, or burning torches and yeah. pitchforks. Yeah. The lynch mob. I, I, I stepped away from the screen a couple of nights ago um, after Target um, aired their, you know, now universally talked about an infamous uh, carpet cleaner undie drawer masturbator guy. Uh, I don't actually have a problem with the content. Uh, this is this is this is why you watch Target actually. This is the sort of thing, you know, when when the Target producers saw this they would have gone boom gold, you know, that that's our rating show for the year. What really um, I don't know, it, it shook my faith I guess in the community, the the online community that we've created here is the universal hatred, you know, if if um, if Twitter were a, a you know an HD picture. There was not one pixel of tolerance, not one pixel of empathy, not one pixel of understanding around this guy. I mean, no one, you know, the the phrase that stood out for me is, uh, you know, he, he's nothing but a sleazeball. No one is nothing but a sleazeball. Everyone is something else as well. Mm. So this guy, you know, I'm, I guess he had a family. I guess he had a backstory. I guess stuff has happened to him in his life. And I guess he's got to the point where one of the things he does is, you know, inappropriate behavior and, and client premises. 
but there was no empathy. And we had um, some pretty high profile media people, both mm. from the channel that screened on and, and, and in other places. Uh, just, there was just, a radio station um, that, that uh, sort of drummed it up as well. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, I, I, what I'm wondering now is, you know, if, if, if and this doesn't seem an unlikely outcome, if, if the guy's name is disclosed, uh, you know, because name suppression is dead, really, if the guy's name's di- disclosed and, uh, you know, the, sh- the shame upon his, you know, family and, and, and kids and whatever is just too much and he tops himself, you know, will there be a hashtag for the suicide? Mm. And, you know, I'd, I'd love to see the same people who have, uh, you know, helped drive him to this, uh, well, you know, drive them to whatever outcome happens. Uh, you know, be be uh, equally vocal around the uh, the consequences. What I'd like to see is the uh, the program producer and the broadcaster in some way contributing to uh, you know whatever help this guy needs. You know, you, you you hear the phrase bandy around. You know, this guy he needs help almost in a joking way. But if he needs help, you know, fuck, give it to him. Mm. You know, write a check. Mm. You know, you've got the ratings. Write a check. Mm. Really good point there, Vaughan. Um, from on that note to something else rather somber. Which is the um, uh, the horrific Russian aircraft plane yes, crash? Yes, yes. It's a somber morning. It, it's Isn't it? it's somber Thursday on Kiwi FM. Mm. Um, the uh, the first all new uh, Russian jetliner in twenty years, the uh, the Sukhoi Superjet One Hundred, which sounds a bit like a, a made up. You know, if you're making a, a comic strip with a with a made up jet in it, you'd call it a Superjet One Hundred. Beautiful little plane. Mm. Looks like a Boeing Seven Three Seven. Look at that departure angle. Wow. If you're watching the video, um, it looks like a Boeing 737, but it's actually a lot smaller. Sukhoi, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, it's a regional, so they're they're more known for um, making jet fighters, but you know the yes. demand demand for that sort of stuff's stuff dropping off. Yeah. So they're making a little regional jet uh, about a um, up to a 95 seater, I think, in, in economy configuration. But uh, bad juju um, demonstration tour Indonesia demonstrates its ability to fly into a jolly hill. I mean, Last obviously week. they're going to do all the investigation and everything, but sounds like pilot error, doesn't that? The fact that, um, you know, they weren't on a commercial flight, so there wasn't a, a definite sort of flight yeah, pattern. They were and, showing off the capability and of And they went off the towards, aeroplane. Yeah, and they yeah. went off towards a big mountain. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but it could, could be one or two things. I mean, they requested the descent, and you're, you request the descent with air traffic control, either because you're in control and you want to do something cool and show the passengers a bit of, you know, let's fly by the mountain, or you've had a real problem and you need to leave your altitude, you know, you've lost an engine or something like that. There were some mechanical problems uh, on the demonstration tour as it made its way from Russia to Indonesia, so maybe they did have that. But, you know, they put out a mayday call if that was the case. But, uh, yeah, not a, not a good ending to the demo tour. Um, we need a good ending. We need a good ending to the slot, don't we? We need what something got? positive and happy. What do you got? <laughs> I've got Pinterest. I got Pinterest, baby. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> oh no, I'm into Pinterest. I'm into the pins. Um, yeah, I've, I've always been a big fan of creation over curation, and um, Pinterest is the ultimate curation site. But it's just going bananas, absolutely bananas. It is. It hasn't it, tapered it, off. No, it hasn't tapered off. Uh, its latest funding round, uh, which I think was announced this week, uh, has it valued around one billion dollars. Wow! So it's go, go 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 for Pinterest, and the reason that is is not because it's cool or you can put up motivational statements or you know pictures of flowers. It's because they have discovered, quite by accident, I think, the perfect social bridge between social media or the perfect bridge between social media and e-commerce. And if you see something you like and you want to share it with your friends, you want to link it back to the site where it belongs, you want to display the price and want to make it all seamless and easy, mm. Pinterest is the way. But they know? need to be able to um, work out how to cl- clip the ticket, yeah? But that's always that's always later. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is, you know, this is Web 3.0. Get valued at a billion dollars, then work out how to make money. Yeah, they'll make money. Boy, <laughs> oh boy, them, because they're a, refer- they're a referral site. You know, they're putting more traffic into e-commerce sites than Twitter. Amazing, yeah, because it's it's a it's a it's a shop front. It's, yeah, you, you know, when you're on Pinterest, you're window shopping, and you see, oh, geez, that's a that's a nice looking uh, art print, or that's a nice looking, you know, um, pair of shoes. But some sites whatever. haven't got, haven't got that, have they? they? They've said, oh, you're stealing our content. That's, that's right. That's said. right. Some yeah. some people some sites are resisting, and uh, you know they can resist all they like. They just mm. won't get the referral traffic. So yeah, good news. Good news for Pinterest. On the up, thank you On very much. Up. Yes, Juan Davis. We brought it home. TGF.co.nz. We also see this as a video once more as well. See you next week.